hi and welcome back to the channel today i am giving you a heads up um, as a uh, skybox audio have released another free sample pack for a uh, drop designer and this is sample pack volume two previously i have done videos on sample pack volume one and also drop designer so um if we go to products drop designer um, if you haven't got it then why not because uh, it's free and it is very good it is a contact nki instrument um, and it is pretty cool so i've done videos on um, that as well and i'll leave links to those in the description so if you go to sample packs you can see there's four sample packs the rest of them are uh, reduced so this uh, sample pack one is normally 17 pound and it's down to five and then uh, the other sample packs i think are um six pound they're normally nine and then six pound but uh, you don't get quite as many either one shots or loops so sample pack two which is new and it is free for a limited time so we don't know i don't know how long that's going to be but normally it's 17 pound um, and it is uh, completely free you are getting 41 melody loops and 101 one shot samples so play at some of them the muted relic ones are normally quite nice they're all split up into um, different kind of, you get about uh, maybe four or five of each kind of piano. Uh, and this is uh, one shot from the Modern Grand and a one shot from the EP200. And I think there's a little track here, I'll just play this. Um, if you're looking to do any sort of trap, uh, or R&B style, um, it is um, kind of suits that kind of uh, style quite well. So yeah, so that is uh, sample pack two. So I will hook up the old S49, and we will have a look at some of these. So here we are in complete control and I have got uh, the Drop Designer uh, NKI loaded. So if you have a problem with the um, the effects not showing up, just drag the NKI back in again. So you have to drop, kind of drag it twice. They still haven't fixed this glitch, but I haven't updated Drop Designer. So they, there may be a new version by now, but uh, um, if, if this doesn't come up, uh, if you kind of just get like a blank bit, just drag the NKI file again uh, in again and uh, say yes and uh, it will they will reload it's just a bit of a glitch so i have got all the um sample pack 2 loaded uh, and this is the first preset and it is a dulcitone so um you get um, about four of each apart from the dulcitone where you get five so you get five dulcitone uh, four ep 200 a's uh, four j celeste four j toy pianos four uh, modern grands four obscure grands, four relic uprights, four suitcase 73s and four UX uprights. So that is a kind of cross section from their four different kind of packs as it were. So like I said, the first preset is a dulcitone and it is um, the Phantom Breath. And it will give you a root note. So if you have got a complete um, S series keyboard, the root note will be in blue. So the, the rest of the keys are purple. Uh, sort of lilac and then the root note it will be in blue so you can actually change that if you want but i know rather it's on auto detect and when you drag in the sample then it will auto detect that um, and like i said you can adjust the tuning fine um keep length and a speed 100 percent. i just always keep these um as it is i don't really change that complete keyboards are mapped there's three pages of mapping um, and I can adjust either the effect amount by the first knob or the mod wheel. Um, and let's say I can adjust things like the color and the V model and also things like the ADSR as well, all from the keyboard. So it's all mapped. Um, like I said, you get about three pages of mapping. Some of the ones you have to switch on like reverse. Um, and uh, I think you can switch on widen and sub from the keyboard and also uh, there's a mutate thing as well. So you, it has an XY pad. So you can switch that on as well. So like I said, it's quite simple. And like I said, you can either click in here and pick the um, particular effects ones. So you've got stereo ripples, or you can click left and right to go through them there. So that's... 
cassette collection off and and as usual uh, it is a bit on the quiet side if I'm in contact it's always quiet basically all you do is just drag these in uh, and it will analyze uh, the mapping and analyze the sample and you can see this is now the roots changed to G sharp 3 so it's that is my root note now uh, and this is the plucky sky uh, and it gives you the BPM as well so that this is 107 this is a C minor at 170 B BPM uh, and I don't even know what I'm on um, probably about 120 or something, something. No, yeah. defaults to 120 the uh, complete control I'm not going to go through them all but I'm just play a few of each one um, and you can actually adjust obviously the start and end points so if you wanted to just um, for instance just bring this right up so that it finished there which is quite good if you want to reverse this then and reversing is quite quite cool because actually sounds better a lot of the time in reverse <laughs> um, and let's say we can switch this to inception and see what that does and we could switch this sub on so like I said it is quite a cool bit of um, design considering it is um, a kind of freebie so like I said you can you could adjust the start point as well so we could just have that wee bit so like I said you, on a long sample like this it's quite uh, so we'll take reverse off so yeah that's quite cool and we could take whatever the start bit was um, kind of this bit so yeah so like i said you've got lots of options available so that was dulcetone we've got ep200s uh, this is uncanny valley um, and the effects do kind of change it quite a bit normally you can normally find something that works better than others so this is shimmer state You can also switch one shot on, so I'll just uh, press the key once and it'll just play the whole sample. From start to finish, I'll just go through that. And then we can one shot reverse it. Which is going to be quite a long intro. <laughs> it's always worth trying reverse. Because that is quite, you've got a nice kind of build up there. I said a lot of time it does actually sound better in reverse. <laughs> I don't so let's say we could bring this up uh, and kind of start it maybe there. Let's see what that sounds like. So, um, if you're doing in sort of cinema, uh, like soundscape cinematic stuff, um, which obviously I do like a bit of, um, that is pretty cool. Go back to normal. So that is um, Uncanny Valley. So that is the EP200, the J Celeste. You just see. And you obviously, because it's a contact, you get a preview. All right, let's try this one. Tyne's Orbit. So yeah, quite cool. Um, the toy piano, I don't really think we need to hear any toy pianos because they're just annoying. Uh, right, what's the first modern grand one? It sounds quite impressive. Bass drop. That's quite cool. 
Oh, it kind of goes on a bit. Right, let's try another, uh, let's try lowest fi. Bit of low fi. So that's it, if you're doing kind of trap stuff, um, it is quite good for kind of trap style. Right, we could take the sub uh, off and put widen on and take the colour up a bit. And let's see what this sounds like. We'll reverse it and... Uh, I mean, that is really cool. <laughs> Let's try, what's this? Um, this is Tilting Ship. shaky waves since it's a tilting ship. That is quite nice that going like that. So that's the modern grand uh, muted relic. This is a uh, worm plucker. Right, what does this sound like reversed? We'll take shaky waves off. Obscure Grand. Take this back up. Uh, oh, what's that? That's quite nice. Uh, right, what's this one? This is Release the Flurry. It's a bit too Phantom of the Opera, isn't it? And crunch. I do you like that? That's nice. Right, so what else have we got in this one? Swirling in paint. It sounds like it's been reversed already. It's quite cool. Now let's try just reversing it and see if it sounds any different. Right, let's try this. Cool. Let's try another preset. Uh, side to side. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, that is quite cool. I do like that one. And uh, Relic Upright is the next one. Right, let's go back in a piano sound. Right, what have we got? This is uh, Reimagined. That's a very long sample. And we are in uh, F3 is the root. So that's the root note. This is a very long piano sample. Let's bring it down a bit. Take it down here. Yeah, that's good, guys. Uh, right, what else? Let's try this one. This is the world chord. We'll take side to side off. And vintage drip. this not a huge difference <laughs> right, and uh, suitcase let's try this uh, space lullaby well that's got my name written all over it right well we'll change uh, what have we not add uh, stereo ripples or oh, mid chain actually let's try mid chain uh, where is it? Uh, oh, I've lost it. Uh, mid chain. Hmm. Maybe not the best one. So that suitcase we've got, uh, and last but not least, is the UX Upright. Oh, it's a bit, um, let's have a look what this one is. Uh, this is uh, Nobody's Watching. Right, what else have we got? This is a, a melody shimmer. Uh, we will put on semi reflection, I think. Quite appropriate. That's very nice.
try reversing that and just see what we're getting. Let's bring it in and... That is it for today and uh, this is on a limited time offer for the free sample pack 2 for um, Drop Designer and I will leave a link in the description to all this and other previous videos on the sample pack volume 1 which you, like I said you can buy for whatever it was about a fiver or something like that. Anyway so I hope you enjoyed that and if you did please like, subscribe, share, comment uh, and I will see you in the next one.